As you know, a handful of schools are back in the classroom. Greensboro Day is one of them. WFMY News 2's I. Denise McMiller found out how they're keeping students safe. Greensboro Day School students are back on campus this week after five months. Masks covered their faces and social distancing kept them from the usual warm embrace. It's only orientation, but it's giving everyone a taste of what it's like to be back. It was interesting because instead of like all of us being at campus, it was only 50%. And on top of that, not everyone was in all of like the classes. Emily Hall and her classmates know there will be plenty of changes this year. And some of it's done on Zoom, some of it's in person. Head of school Tracy Catlett says health and safety training is top of mind. Our health trainings is anything from how to put on a mask properly, how to take it off, social distancing, and just some really some facts around around the virus. Catlett says they're also planning on having some classes outside and 15% of students will learn online. With swivel technology, they'll be able to zoom in to the classroom and see their classmates and it'll feel hopefully a little bit like they're in the classroom and not just looking at a face on a screen. Right now, 750 students are enrolled, about 160 more than last year, with more applications coming in. I felt really comfortable at school just knowing that GDS had like a set way of doing everything. Students won't officially be back in the classroom until Wednesday, giving staff a chance to reflect on how the week went. We have some things in terms of the carpool lines a little bit slower than normal because we're taking temperatures. How do we, what makes sure the outdoor furniture gets wiped down in between classes? So we have lots of problems to solve and we get, we're going to use Friday to do that. Catlett says they'll continue to monitor the virus and make changes if necessary. The school has added sick and well rooms to their health centers. They also have a new air filtration system that's 99% effective at killing coronavirus pathogens. They also have a plan in place if someone is exposed to the virus or tests positive.